Well, hello again, and welcome to Shakespeare Friday. And this Friday, it's time for A Midsummer Night's Dream, with thanks again to my wonderful friend Ella Geraghty for requesting this particular piece. And the piece she's requested is the speech from Oberon in Act 2, Scene 1, where Puck has brought him the flower, the magic flower, filled with this uh, juice which, when sprinkled on a sleeping person's eyes, means that whoever they see when they first wake up, be it a person or creature, they fall immediately in love with. And this, of course, as those of you who know the play, sets up a train of events which take us right the way through to the culmination of this most wonderful and magical piece. So here we are, Oberon talking to Puck in A Midsummer Night's Dream. I pray thee, give it me. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where oxlips and the nodding violet grows, quite o'er canopied with luscious woodbine, with sweet musk roses and with eglantine. There sleeps Titania some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight, and there the snake throws her enamelled skin, weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. And with the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it and seek through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do it when the next thing he espies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. Effect it with some care, that he may prove more fond on her than she upon her love. And look, thou meet me ere the first cock crow. <laughs> 